hi guys like i said everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to it another video thank you so much you guys for tuning in you're very much welcome you for coming to subscribe like the video and share you guys now you guys let's just uh talk about umakati here a girl uh, uh she didn't pitch for some of the gigs uh last year in december now they are really after her the organizers wanted their money from my cards you guys because she collected the money and never pitched for la my gigs now oh girl like <laughs> she will always be trending on my cards when it comes with all these money scandals last time we in the bag is uh the sar or something like that i do not know how to winning my cards enrolled in money scandal after missing three Three gigs, you guys. All three gigs, a girl didn't pitch, uh, but she got paid. Now they want their money back. Mm, girl, I event organizers want their money from Umakazi. <laughs> hey, Umakazi will be trending. I could tell. Award winning artist Umakazi is accused for not pitching for an event she was booked for on the 24th of December last year. Now the Pumala event organizer is now demanding his money from the star after failing to honor those two gigs you guys i did not know because his real name is called undibu zanyi raliwona so she was booked to perform in three venues echoes cafe mluli outlets in nail spread and quiet vibes in a pushback ridge uh, all in pumalanga so uh, she didn't pitch for all those uh, uh, gigs. I uh, won't get ever some pumalanga, you guys. I do not know event organizer. Um, fundo tons. See my tons of regrets. Trusting um, Omakazi and her management. Now Omakazi charged them 50,000 rands for two gigs. And the third one, she requested 35,000 rands for, um, and for them to book her eight rooms now we went overboard uh overboard to make sure that uh, the people from pumalanga get to see makazi performing at this site since he has a huge following she has a huge following they said he but anyways she let us down this is despite us making sure that we met her demands we want all out and all of uh, our events were sold out so now i uh, we even ask the other that since she never made it on the 24th she must come on the 27th she failed also to come on the 27th now we had to explain to the people that i uh, had bought our um, tickets so that we're going to uh, reimburse them now this is a loss for us a huge loss in corner so it is alleged that Omar Katz is no longer taking his calls and her manager umpu t perez um has since blocked his because we ma we have proof <laughs> that we have booked her and she even posted on her socials that she was going to be part of the event but she never came said a work associate of uma tonsi utonsi though but who wished are not to be named now the money was paid to the moja is in possession of the slips that show that money was paid into an account belonging to makaz entertainment a company she opened after she uh she leaving he opened my production now the Moja is also in possession of the WhatsApp conversations between Uma Puti and Tonsi, where she promised to refund them on Tuesday. Now the Moja understands that Uma Kazi paid big. 50,000 rands through her manager but had failed to settle the full amount. Now the organizers claim uh, that both Maputi and Makati have blocked the organizers. It was never our plan to take this route of exposing Umakazi but because we work with artists, yo. This might uh, ruin our working relationship with other artists. So now all we want is our money back without dragging her to court. Jesus Christ. Now the associate of the event organizer said when Tonsi was contacted for comment, he confirmed the booking Makazi. We did book her, but unfortunately she never made it to the venues after she apparently had a puncture on her way to the nail spread. Now this is the story she gave us. Um, I won't be able to share more details on this matter since it is a matter between two parties. Now Makazi is not new to the controversy of being booked and not sure up to the gigs last year she was uh, nearly dragged into a Botswana high court after she failed to honor a gig she was paid for up front now the mocha called makazi for the comment but she did not answer the calls again or respond to our text her manager also blue ticked uzi mocha nang as you guys umakazi are uh, this drama, the old girl didn't pitch for Ama Kiks as in Pumalanga. Now she paid uh, that 50,000 rands back. And uh, there's another money that she did. She didn't pay full amount. Now they want their money back, you guys. They no longer want anything to do with the hair. So, old girl, uh, 
Shame, man. Why not pay a girl? I'm sure you've got that money. I'm sure you got that man. Why not pay them back because you couldn't get it there? I do not know now, girl. She just, <laughs> she just will be trending when it comes to these gigs and the money scandals because I do not know why. Anyway, go to her. They want their money back since we didn't pitch. And as why we have a cocaine back, you guys, and just uh, but in the basement we expose on the, all these dirty scandals out here in Pagati. I do not know that is the story. Saga Makas, you guys, that is there on uh, the publication was immortalizing. Though, a girl is failing to pay that money back and they are dragging her now to. To, to expose her for not pitching for those gigs and not paying full amount back as they want nothing to do with her but only their money back you guys and now they are blocking the calls and uh not even responding to the test to say you know what just respond and promise with i'll pay on this day shame what's working just respond once i'll just respond and promise another day than blocking i wonder when you are block, blocking people it shows you are not to be trusted so that's bad for her name you guys i do not know that is just my thoughts thank you so much you guys for watching like the video subscribe and then we'll meet again on my next upload bye